Hey guys, welcome back to the another video of Spring Security. Till now, we have completed three videos related to this particular uh, framework of Spring, right? Spring Security. So if you haven't uh, watched these videos, uh, just go through my channel. You will find these three videos. Uh, it will help you a lot to understand further videos. So let's get back to our today's topic. So what is the agenda of this particular video? Let's suppose I have a requirement to I want to permit my all APIs. I do not want to check my configuration file or configuration class. I just want to be my I just want to permit my all uh, like APIs. I don't want to be check authentication. I don't want to put authentication on that. So this is the first requirement. And second one, I don't want to be checked that uh, configuration file. I just deny my I want to be deny my what are the request is coming to my application. So these are the two uh, requirement for today's video. So we're going to see this uh, how we can implement those. OK, so I have uh, mentioned like few command for your reference. Like we have four APIs which we have developed in our uh, like a few, uh, first or second video that is account balance update and main right so these two we make secure how we make secure like we have just done this code in a previous video right so let me uh, comment it down to because i want to make few changes in a code so my that two requirements which we have discussed is uh, gonna complete it right so if you have seen this is my default behavior which we have already talked about in uh, previous videos right so when you go to this web security adapter class uh, configuration adapter class you will find this particular uh, uh, thing here inside this class right because uh, we are extending this particular class uh, where it is yeah we are extending this particular class web security configure adapter right and this is a, a default uh, behavior which we are overriding this particular method and we are giving our implementation right that parent child relationship i hope this is clear now i want to be uh, permit my all apis i don't want to put authentication in any of one api right i want to permit all so just came here we have one method uh, we will say permit all right so now let me run this application and then we'll see what is the behavior of our application okay it will not in this case it will not check my that uh, configuration class which i have annotated as this at configuration right it will not check it directly allow my all the requests which are coming right so let me check localhost and yeah we have one api main as you have seen previous video we have built four apis right we have developed so, and we have one uh, account also yeah and uh, we have one I think balance also yeah and one is update so this is a meaning of permit like suppose you have a requirement and some time you don't want to put a, a spring authentication and authorization on your project or in on APIs right you want to give a freedom to access the API then you can go through it okay you can put this now what a second requirement is so let me comment it down uh, this is uh, uh, for permit all apis right so let me comment it down so it will help us to understand what we are doing right and this is for uh, like deny all so let me first write a code then after we will uh, put a comment okay yeah so just copy paste i don't want to be write this again so just remove this method for deny all in this case it will not check our requirement or it will not check our configuration file okay so let me stop my server and my, let me run this again my application as an spring boot application okay so as you can see in a console it is up and running so let me try again what is the default behavior as you can see for update uh, it is asking for username and password right so let me try for main it asking for username password let me uh, put for uh, balance it asking and what is the username and password we have configured in uh, previous videos mike and uh, four times one at this time here it will give you the forbidden error that is forbidden error with this status code is 403 why it is giving uh, this forbidden error here because you have 
say to your application like okay i don't want to put uh, this authentication and all uh, whatever the authentication authorization i don't want to put that just deny whatever the request is coming okay just deny it i do not want to talk about <laughs> authentication or authorization uh, just deny whatever the request is coming okay so that's all for this video i will see you in the next video till then see you take care bye bye